My name's Matthew, Dr. Matthew Partridge. Uh, I'm a research fellow at Cranford University and I also run Iran Science, the blog and webcomic. I love the, the sort of trying to show people an insight into the world of science and an insight into the world of research that they might not get otherwise. And I want to show them that science can be fun, science is not very serious, science can be quite silly sometimes. So I want started around science to do that and then because I was coming here and because it was quite a new conference, I really wanted to kind of be able to show people what it was like to attend a conference as a bit of an outsider and get an idea of what you do every day, what you do hour to hour. Then I thought, well, I can't put up like just a diary on its own. That's just boring text. I need like something to kind of give people something to kind of enjoy, like a comic or something. So I drew a little cartoon. Um, and I think on the first day I found like a table somewhere, but on the second day I was like on the floor drawing cartoons uh, and things like that. But it, the whole idea was, I want people to see that what happens at a conference, that they're not big scary, that everybody's feeling a bit anxious and a bit lost and kind of bumbling around from place to place and just give people some real insight into attending a conference, which is hope I have done this week and I hope people have really enjoyed it. So. Um, the Geology Badger was suggested to me by one of my Twitter followers. They, I tweeted about the fact that I had taken some badges and I was going to a geoscience convention. They misread that as um, geology badges instead of geology badges. And I love that, I just, I saw the tweet and I was sort of like instantly in my head just kind of popped this idea for a badger wearing a little harness with a little hammer and things. And that was it, I just the next day, that was gonna be the cartoon. I had to make it work, I had to make it fit into whatever I was discussing. I had to draw a geology badger. I think cartoons are great at communicating science because they offer a way of communicating one very simple message, stripping out everything else. And if you draw a cartoon and you just try to convince people of one fact or one technique or one theory in one cartoon, you get a great simplicity and a great memorable way of conveying that message that might not rely on graphs and might not rely on perfect schematic diagrams, but actually rely on sort of an interpretation of something that helps people realize it or helps people understand the scale of what they're looking at or the scale of the science that is being discussed. So I think cartoons are a kind of a good way of communicating, not necessarily always between other scientists, but from the science community everywhere else, to kids, to other adults, to, to everyone. They really kind of simplify that message down to what's the important part of it, um, which I think is a great role for cartoons.